We do have some breaking news to get to as we join you here on Live Now from Fox this afternoon on the East Coast. Hamas now saying that they are not going to go through with the second round of hostage and prisoner exchange until Israel allows Gaza uh, aid into northern Gaza. This says we take a live look right now at the Rafah border crossing. It does appear there are some aid trucks moving in, but where they're going exactly inside of Gaza, still unclear right now. But this is the latest, again, as uh, we bring this to you here on Live Now from Fox. Hamas delaying that second release of hostages until Israel lets aid into northern Gaza. Hamas was preparing to release more than a dozen hostages today for several dozen Palestinian prisoners held by Israel part of an exchange on the second day of a ceasefire that's allowed critical humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip and given civilians their respite after seven weeks of war. That war has been going on 50 days since that October 7th attack. While uncertainty remained around the details of this exchange, there remains some optimism too. Amid the scenes of a joyous families reuniting on both sides, on the first day of that four-day ceasefire, Hamas did release 24 of the about 240 hostages taken during its October 7th attack. Israel, meanwhile, freed 39 Palestinians from prison. Those freed in Gaza were 13 Israelis, 10 Thais, and a Filipino. Today, Hamas provided mediators in Egypt and Qatar with a list of 14 hostages to be released, and it has since passed to Israel according to officials in the region. The head of Egypt's government press office and the state-run Kahara news outlet said that 13 hostages would be exchanged as well for 39 prisoners. Under the truce agreement, Hamas will release one Israeli hostage for every three prisoners freed. Israel's prison service said earlier Saturday it was preparing 42 prisoners for release. It was not immediately clear on how many non-Israeli captives may also be at released. Overall, Hamas is set to let go of 50 Israeli hostages and Israel let go of some 150 Palestinian prisoners during this four-day truce. All of them are women and minors. But again, as we uh, follow this here on Live Now from Fox, if you're joining us, the latest we have right now breaking at this hour, Hamas delaying that second release of hostages, they say until Israel allows aid into northern Gaza. This is a live look right now at the Rafah border crossing. This is the crossing between Egypt and southern Gaza. It does appear aid trucks are being allowed in. Looks like the lights just went out there. Uh, it is uh, significantly later. It's uh, very late in the evening uh, there in Israel and uh, in the West, uh, in the Gaza Strip. Uh, but again, this is the latest that we hear here. Hamas now delaying that hostage exchange over aid for northern Gaza.